Hi, Brian Seger here again, certified personal trainer and baby boomer fitness expert, where today I'm gonna to talk about 5K running strategies for men and women over the age of 50. So in the last couple of videos that I've put out, I've put out some strategies for beginners so that way you can get yourself started running and getting yourself ready for a 5K. Today I wanna to talk specifically about different strategies you can start employing to uh, add variety to your runs so they don't become boring, so you have something different you can do every day, because you know what they say, variety is the spice of life. Um, also, uh, that way you can start to improve your performance so you can challenge yourself with getting your best time ever. And also uh, to do these different runs, it prevents you from overtraining and getting some kind of injury. So um, there's some different types of runs that you can do for yourself when training for a 5K. One of them would be, say, an easy run. An easy run would be anything from three to five miles and it would be right under what your 5K pace would do. Uh, the purpose of these runs is just to build up your aerobic endurance, um, also strengthen your muscles, and they're also great for fat burning. So just a couple easy runs. I would maybe do two easy runs per week. A uh, great strategy would be to do one, say, like on a Tuesday and maybe on a Thursday. Uh, another great run that you can do for yourself is a tempo run. A tempo run is, an, is a run where you're going at about 85% of your uh, uh, race pace. So it's a little bit more intense and it's pretty close to your race pace for your best time. So for an example, if your race time, your, your pace is say eight, you know, eight minute miles, maybe you're going out and you're running 820 miles for maybe three miles. That would be an example of a good tempo run. So it's gonna challenge you enough to where you've gotta push yourself, but it's not enough to where you're running your race pace. So a good tempo run would be also a good way. Uh, uh, I would do a tempo run once per week, so maybe on that Tuesday you did, your, uh, you did yourself your easy run, today and then on Wednesday you would do a tempo run. Uh, you can't run all the time, because that's when you start to get yourself injured, you start to get some strains, some tears, some pulls. What I would recommend mixing in are some cross training days. Uh, these cross training days um, can be done in the gym, uh, doing things opposite of running. Um, they're great for building up your cardiovascular endurance, but also strengthening up your body. So something that I like to do is have my runners, they'll do two resistance training uh, um, workouts per week. They're usually exercise splits. So we'll say do one on a Monday and we'll do one on a Saturday. And they're working all the major muscle groups of the body uh, and it's gonna be strengthening the, um, strengthening the body and around what they'll be doing for running. So that way you can prevent against those strain tears pulls. Uh, another thing with cross training, those things would be like riding a bike. Uh, maybe it would be uh, rowing, doing a row machine, uh, sled pushes. Um, any other kind of aerobic ex exercise outside of running. The next one we have are long runs. Long runs are usually designed on a day where you don't have too much going on. Uh, for a 5K, uh, it would probably nothing be over uh, 13 to 15 miles. Just a long run, a very, very slow pace, and let's say your race pace is, say, eight minutes per mile. This is a day where you're just going out for a long run. They could be nine to 10 minute miles. You're not going for any specific time here. What you're really going after is you're just building up that cardiovascular endurance so you have those reserves built up for when you go out and have your race day. Uh, so long runs are just nice to go for a long run, building up those endurance, building up strengthening muscle, and then they're great for fat burning. Uh, the last, uh, last one, last different type of training methodology that as one of my personal favorites that I used a lot when I was running track in high school, when I was in the military doing my PT tests, and now that I do with friends on the weekend out at local tracks or when I run a 5K for myself. And these are intervals. Intervals are very intense um, um, paces of exercises. It's more anaerobic. It's helping you build that engine to push yourself on race day to get your best times. 
and they're also just a, a good challenge. I mean, I just love a good challenge. I don't know about you. They're just a really good challenge. Some different types of intervals that I like to use are 400 meter sprints. So you can go out and run a 400 meter sprint at, uh, at a, I mean, a 400 meter sprint is usually a quarter of a mile. So basically what you can do is, say your, your race pace is an eight, is eight minute mile. Basically you can run one lap a little bit faster than that eight minutes. And it, it, so when you get to race day, you have that anaerobic uh, conditioning build up. So that way you can push yourself uh, during the race. So an example of an interval, maybe you go out and you'll run a 400 meter sprint with that, you know, a two minute pace or maybe a minute 40 pace. And then you would walk a lap and then you would run another 400 at that pace and then walk another lap. And what that's gonna do, so I would do that four times if you're a beginner. Uh, the other thing you can do is go out and do 800 meters. That'd be two laps, that'd be a half a mile. Uh, you could run, the eight, if say your eight minute mile pace, you run two laps at maybe say 330 or 340 for that half a mile pace. Walk 200 meters to 400 meters and repeat, do three of those. And then if you're really bold, you got the thousand meters, thousand meters, um, Basically what it comes down to is if you're able to do five of those, that's a 5K. So go out and run a thousand meters, that'd be two and a half laps, is uh, at a, f a pace that's uh, similar to what you're doing on your race day, or maybe a little faster, so that way you have that anaerobic power built up. So those are some different training methodologies that you can use to start making your 5K a lot better. Uh, maybe some advanced strategies outside of that is I'd get yourself a running coach. There's some great running coaches out there. You can usually find one. Um, at say like a, a running specific store. There's one in every city, you can Google them. They'll help you get some really good gear, but the running coach will help you come up with a good cadence for uh, um, the pace that you can do for your run. Uh, the other thing a running coach will do for you is help you set that plan of when do I do a long run? When do I do an easy run? When do I do a tempo run? How much interval should I do for me? And then help you get through any mindset blocks that maybe you have that's preventing you from achieving your goal. I mean, we all have them. It's good to get a coach, get that outside perspective, to hold us accountable, give those key distinctions to have our best uh, best race. And then always get yourself some good gear. Prevents against injuries. And also, <laughs> I don't get any affiliations with these sh shoe stores out there. Uh, I don't, but basically what it does, it prevents you from getting things like plantar fasciitis. It helps get those, from getting strain tears, pulls. And then it also, it's set up with uh, your running pattern. So. Uh, getting yourself some good running shoes, some good, good socks, uh, and then some good gear that doesn't cause chafing in your body. So I hope you really enjoyed these strategies today. Just leave a comment down below uh, how these strategies have made a difference for you. My goal is to make sure that over the age of 40 and 50 and beyond that you're able to enjoy the second half of your life, do the things you love to do, and a 5K is just a really great event to challenge yourself, keep yourself in great shape, and to spend it with people that you enjoy. Have a great day. I would love to hear what you liked best about this video. So down below, you'll see a comment section. Just leave your comments, and I wanna thank you so much for the comments you've been leaving me over the months, and I've been getting back to filling those out. Also down below in the description box, you'll see a link, and in that description box with that link, you wanna click it, and it's gonna take you to another page where you're gonna get four free workouts. To get those four, four free workouts, you just have to enter your email address. So go down below, click the link, and we're gonna get you those, those workouts right away by entering your email address. Also, down below, make sure you click the subscribe button so you get updated when we release all this great content. So thank you again for tuning in. Thank you so much for your comments. Go get your free workouts, and you guys make it a great day.